We're asked to consider the function f that maps the set with elements one, two, three, and four to the set with elements one, two, three, and four, given by the function shown in two-line notation. For a quick review, to specify the rule for a function with a small domain, we can use two-line notation by using a matrix as shown above with each output directly below its corresponding input. The set of all inputs for a function is called the domain. The set of all allowable outputs is called the codomain. The set of actual outputs is the range, and the output is called the image of the input. So going back to our problem, the first set is the domain. The domain is mapped to the set which is called the codomain. Again, the codomain is a set of all allowable outputs. Now if we look at the two-line notation, the elements in the second row form the range, the set of actual outputs. And the first row is the set of inputs from the domain. And now let's look at our first question. Number one, we're asked to find f of three, where three is the input. And for two-line notation, remember the output is directly below its corresponding input. So if we take a look at the third column here, this indicates that f of three is equal to four. Where we can say when the input is three, the output is four. We can also say four is the image of the element of three from the domain. Number two, find an element n in the domain such that f of n equals three. So notice here we are given the output or the value in the range and we're asked to find the input or we can say we're trying to find the element n in the domain where three is the image. So now we're looking for a three in the second row which is here. This row indicates that f of one is equal to three which means n equals one is the element in the domain such that f of n equals three. Number two, we enter one. Number three, we're asked to find the element n in the domain such that f of n equals n, which means the input and the output are the same, or we can say the image is equal to the input. Looking at the matrix, notice the second column, the input and the output are the same, and therefore f of n equals n, when n is equal to two, we enter two. And for the last problem, we're asked to find an element of the codomain that is not in the range. Well, the codomain is a set with elements one, two, three, and four, and analyzing the second row of the matrix, we can see the range is the set containing the elements of two, three, and four. Notice one does not appear in the range, and therefore the element of the codomain that is not in the range is the element of one. I hope you found this helpful.